What's up everybody and welcome to another video. So for the longest time it used to be that if you wanted to be able to control your garage door from your Tesla you had to buy uh, this Tesla unit that you, uh, you can have installed in the car. It used to cost about $300 and some change there and they will install it on the car and if you are within close vicinity to your garage you were able to control your garage door uh, from your touch screen here in your Tesla. Now all of that changed with a recent software update that Tesla has pushed to the car which is now allowing the car to pair with MyQ. If you don't know what MyQ Q is it's a little uh, device that you can install uh, in your garage uh, with, regardless of how old your garage is my current garage is about probably some 11 13 years old and I've been using the MyQ system for a while now and what it does is once you put this device somewhere in your garage you pair it with your garage door opener and then you're able to control your garage door wherever you have access to the internet. So using a mobile device, um, anywhere in the world, you can control your garage door, set up automations, connect it to other kind of IoT and smart devices around your house. Uh, they used to have support for like Alexa, Siri and stuff like that uh, uh, back in the days. They recently took that out. But you can do all of that and control all of that from within your mobile device. So it's a recent Tesla software update that actually allows you to now pair your car with the MyQ app. Uh, the device itself is pretty cheap. They cost about $30 or so on Amazon. But for a limited time, actually, uh, this is actually free uh, to use. And even you get the device for free um, if you subscribe. I'm going to explain that in a little bit. So there is this software update and I'm going to show you how that works. All right. So what I have right here is my own MyQ device. And I already have this paired to my garage door opener. It's quite easy to do and they give you instructions on how to do that when you buy the device. So I'm not gonna really cover that right here. And I normally just keep this somewhere in the garage. In my case, I keep it up right here and um, it works pretty well with the mobile device. So let's get into the Tesla and let me show you how to set this all up in the Tesla itself. All right, so now I'm in the Tesla and from the center console, um, you should see a little home icon right there to the top right. So if you click on that, it asks you to link my Q account. So I'm just going to click on that and it's going to ask you to scan uh, the QR code. So initially when I set this up, I was looking for a QR code scanner from the MyQ app. But uh, if you're on an iPhone, it's actually the, you don't use the MyQ app, but you use your actual regular iPhone camera to scan this. So I have my iPhone camera right here so I can scan that and open. And this is going to open up the uh, MyQ app. So it's going to ask you to sign into your MyQ account, which you've already set up uh, prior to this. So I'll go ahead quickly and sign on to mine. All right, and then it asks you to authorize uh, the use of like Tesla to have access to your MyQ account. Uh, sort of, it's called, they're calling this the premium access. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, authorize this. So and then right here, they're just telling you that you have a 30 days trial, um, which is complimentary, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And uh, after the try this trial, um, they charge you $3 a month to run this, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. You only need to pay this premium price to control it from your Tesla. Uh, once you have the device itself, it's actually free to use with your mobile app. Uh, but if you wanna control it from your Tesla, you have to uh, sort of have this subscription. All right, so now that I have that activated, as you can see right there on the center console, right away it recognizes that. And then I am able to do several things right here. So initially, the first thing you probably want to do is set your uh, garage location. So I'm going to set this to my home address. And the moment I do that, it now gives me ability to have some automated controls in here. For example, I can say that I want the garage door to automatically open up whenever I'm sat within certain feet of the house. So it's currently at uh, 70 feet. You can change that to uh, closer to the garage door. All right, so right now I'm approaching my house and as I get close to the feet that I've set, as you can see, there's a little pop up there counting down to uh, the number of feet. And once that gets within the range, you'll see right now the garage door opens automatically by itself. This is a really, really cool and neat feature. I really love uh, this feature. It's very convenient to use. And in the same way too, you can also enable it to close when you're leaving uh, the, the, the house. So that once the moment you leave, your garage automatically close. So I currently have this turned on and the moment I move a couple of feet away from the garage, you're gonna see the door automatically close itself. Again, this is really, really cool. I love this feature the best uh, about this. Uh, pretty cool. And then you have an option also to set here an auto chime option so that it just beeps a sound that makes you know that it's actually working in case sometimes if it doesn't trigger, and then if you go to your center console right there at the top, you can also manually control this where you can uh, either close the garage or open it manually. 
All right, let's talk pricing for a second. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, a sub to the channel would be really, really, really helpful and appreciated. If you wanna see more content like this, you can support the channel by subscribing. But the device itself, like I said, they have different ones, but it costs as cheap as $30 if you're just buying this off the market without Tesla to use, and which is a good home automation tool anyways. And then it seems like there's gonna be a subscription fee to use this, about $3. Right now they're offering it for free, I guess, cause they just rolled this out. And they did say, if you do subscribe to this, I guess whenever the subscription comes, you actually get the MyQ device for free. So you just subscribe the $3 a month and they send you the, the little device, um, which again runs anywhere between $30 to $50 on Amazon. But I can tell you that this is what it's so far. I would pay $3 for this anytime. It just really makes sense. And then you get the additional uh, benefit of having uh, the MyQ app on your phone that you can control your garage door and connect it to other automations outside of your Tesla. So you're paying this $3, not just uh, to control the garage door from your Tesla, but to have access to um, MyQ smart automation tool. So I really love it so far. I would highly recommend it to check it out. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys that real quick. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.